Hey, what's up YouTube? So this is gonna be part six of the MR2 K20Z1 build. And uh, I know I kind of jumped uh, ahead of myself, but it's because my last camera, um, it actually was going out. That's why if you see in my last couple of videos, it looks like the camera's shaking and glitching and everything. So I got a new camera, everything's cool now, but um, let me bring you forward to where we're at. So all I did was basically drop the engine in with this mount and um, the passenger side mount. Over here. So I just got those two mounts in. It's basically just dropped in. Um, I took the valve cover off because I wanted to see how good everything inside is. Um, it looks all fresh. So it's almost like someone probably redid the head and everything's probably brand new. Um, so it should be a healthy engine. Uh, I'm just touching up the valve cover as well. Uh, I kind of scraped it up a little bit. Uh, so I resprayed that. So right now what we're gonna get into is uh, deleting the fuse box back here. So we're gonna cut off our fuel right here, our starter signal, um, the two powers right here, and uh, just everything that's connected to the fuse box. So we're gonna delete that. And in order to take this off, there's a little clip right here and you just push forward to get it out. Um, most likely, if you're using the stock um, gauge cluster, I would guess I would keep this and uh, just run it inside because you can get the check engine light, oil pressure, um, and whatever else you can basically use for the stock cluster if you're just gonna use that and just go get a tag or something at AutoZone or whatever. Um, but other than that, we're gonna delete this right now and then we're gonna throw on a slave cylinder since it's already there, it's just two bolts. Um, we're gonna throw on the half shaft, uh, exhaust manifold back on, and um, that's basically what we're gonna get to touch on right now and then maybe the linkage and stuff, but let's go ahead and just get those simple things back on and then we'll come back and uh, see what else we need to do. All right, so now I had to go ahead and deleted the fuse box for now. I'm not gonna really get into the wiring until the next video. So wiring will be uh, the cluster wiring and how to wire the car up uh, as far as the fuel power to the ECU, um, alternator and alternator signal, um, and basically just all your grounds and stuff. So we'll get to that later. But for now, I got my uh, headers with the exhaust manifold with my heat shield on. I got my uh, half shaft down in there, if you can see. Um, I put the slave cylinder on there. Still have to bleed it though. And, uh, that's all we got going right now. So next, I uh, already took the heater hoses that were going on here. They were ripped anyway, so I took those off. And we're gonna run a bypass. Um, so we're gonna bypass, we're gonna run, let's see if you guys can see it. These hoses are gonna go to each other. And then I'm gonna do the same thing as the K24 on the other MR2. So I'm gonna, splice it about right here and then this hose is going to come to the hose at the bottom and then uh the bypass hose that runs over here is going to go to the top and that's how you run your heater hoses um also the brake booster hose uh, i'm going to be running from right here to right there so uh this is the hose that i'm using it's off of a basically the type s so the type s has the little valve inside already so if you don't have this and you step on the brakes and you're like going really fast the car will basically feel like it doesn't have any brakes it doesn't have the booster basically so the booster won't be working so the brakes will feel like it's locking up so make sure if you are running a hose or the si hoses have the same uh, valve in it as well uh, make sure uh, all I'm gonna do is just cut it down to size and it'll work perfectly fine. I have a couple of them here, so it saves me some money or the customer. Uh, so we're gonna do that and then do the shift linkage. And then after that, we'll throw the valve cover back on and that'll probably be it for this video. Um, also, some people, I mean, while I have the, the valve cover off, some people might wanna know what true VTEC is and what's 
real VTEC. Well, all motors have the iVTEC system, which is basically the cam phasing, um, the, the degree. I'll show you the cam. This cam right here is adjustable. So since this is a Type S K20, it has 50 degrees of timing. Um, but as far as getting down to the true VTEC, these are your lobes right here. So this is one lobe, two lobe, three lobe. And all VTEC, true VTEC systems, even from the B-Series, come with three on each side. Um, your VTEC lobe is the center one, which is the one that's the biggest one on the cam lobe. So um, as far as that, uh, this is the true one. The fake VTEC system uh, only has an intake cam with two of them. So on the economical one, you're running on one intake valve and then when VTEC goes in, the second valve is opening. So that's basically the economical system. The exhaust side is going to be just one valve and it just opens both valves at the same time. So it's real economic. As a matter of fact, I got some cams I can show you. Also, I'll have this motor if anybody's interested still. If it's a Corolla, Camry or MR2 and it's five speed swap, still good. Here is the economical cams right here. So as you can see, this is the intake side. Um, it runs, I guess, I'm, guess, I'm guessing it runs on this lobe first and then when VTEC hits, it runs that to run the second um, valve. And then this is the exhaust. As you can see, just one valve, it runs both um, rockers, so a uh, rocker valve. So uh, some people, when you're doing VTEC killer, this is the, the rocker arm assembly on the exhaust side. You want to get that to run on both sides to run the Type S cam if you wanted to do like a VTEC killer system or whatever. But um, as far as that, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, getting those things addressed. And then we'll come back and uh, see what we need to do next or if we're just going to go ahead and end the video. All right, so I got my shift linkage in here now. Um, got my brake hose on there as well. Um, got my valve cover as you can see uh, just getting everything kind of test fitted for now the radiator hose works right there they just run stock so you don't have to change the top one at all um, besides getting like maybe a filler neck or you can get like an adapter from Toyonda where they could just I think you just cut it right here and uh, they give you like the adapter to just have the radiator filler neck right there as well um, Next thing I'm gonna be doing is uh, the wiring. And um, I gotta go pick up the axles. Uh, I missed my UPS shipment, so I gotta go pick up the axles. Uh, we're gonna bleep the clutch. Um, and run the heater hoses, kinda get everything straight. And hopefully we'll, the next video, we'll be able to start the car and everything, get it running. Um, I'm gonna be running the stock ECU Type S, so. Uh, I'm gonna be using the mobilizer and everything, so I'll show you guys how to run that. Uh, so if you haven't, like, share, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Um, next video will be coming soon, hopefully for starting the next couple of days. Also, we'll be doing the cluster as well um, on the next video too. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you want to hit me up on Instagram, it's a uh, K Serious Works. And uh, you can hit me up on my email as well, honda.mike1988 at gmail.com. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.